throughout the post. They're off in the River Memories. Pinch back a bit at the break with Sky High Lady. Hob, knob, snob, sent to the front by Jerry Olgeen. A queen of the waves into the outside is Logan's Peak. Then back to the duo of part the seas inside and tea game outside. After that eventful start, Sky High Lady trails this field as they run through the first turn. And Hob, knob, snob is dictating the pace. Hob, knob, snob leads it by two lengths to Logan's Peak. 24 and 1 for the opening quarter. Queen of the Waves, a relaxed third, is down on the rail and five lengths off the leader. Part the Seas in fourth position, then T Game and Sky High Lady with just under five furlongs to go. And loose on the lead is Hob Knob Snob. Olgeen takes a peek back, sees Logan's peak, two and a half lengths in behind. Queen of the Waves in third position. Then part the seas. To that one's outside is T game. Then Sky High Lady, 48 flat for the opening. Four furlongs still chasing. Hob, knob, snob. With two and a half furlongs to go. Logan's Peak's making a move now. As is a Queen of the Waves. Queen of the Waves is three wide and gaining ground. In the orange, part the seas is fourth. Hob, knob, snob. As they come to the top of the stretch, it's beginning to leak a little oil. And on the outside, here comes Queen of the Waves. Queen of the Waves has taken the lead. Part the Seas gains ground on Queen of the Waves with one furlong to go. Part the Seas on the outside, the Aval winner. And on the far outside, Sky High Lady, who was pinched back at the break, just blew them away. Sky High Lady and the River Memories. That was some performance over Queen of the Waves and Part the Seas. Logan's Peak was fourth. 